just a quick review of the inflatable pillow by Alan X. I really love the color of this one. I just want to show you how quickly it will inflate with this large, see how large that is? Okay. Okay, and I don't have to hold anything over that hole. Air is not escaping. So I can just close it right up like that. And then when I open it and push that button, you'll see how quickly it deflates. It's so really wonderful. That's so easy. It's super. Very good. Love it. And you can just smooth it right back out. And put it in the handy little pouch. Look how cute. It's so little. I love it. Thank you. Okay, this is the Alanix inflatable hiker pillow, I guess you'd say. I would have to say this is about 18 inches wide by mm, maybe a foot and it's got a loft of about uh, four inches. It literally took me not even three breaths to blow this up. Um, it's concaved a little bit for your head so you've got a little bit of shoulder room there. I kind of wish it had a little bit more loft. Um, not as comfy as I'd like. I'm going to make a pillow slip for it so it'll be a little more comfier. It's got an elastic strap here for you to put your ah, sorry, for you to put your thermo rest, um, wrap it around there. What I really like about this valve, <laughs> it's a non-escape uh, air valve. So while you're blowing into it, your air is not going to go flying if you get interrupted. And boom, it just deflates like that. Probably took longer to deflate than it did to inflate but it won't deflate unless you're depressing that button so yeah if i were to blow this up it would take less than three three breaths um yeah for backpacking definitely light folds up really super small if i had the air all out of it yeah i would do it as i was deflating it it has a little pack that it comes in and just hang it off of your um, backpack while you're hiking. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's there. It's actually rubberized a little bit back here too on these dots to hopefully give it a little bit of um, staying power. But yeah, it wasn't bad for the price. Um, I'd definitely do it again.